Welcome to the CIC Chapel at the heart of our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. My name is Father Charles Trudeau. I'm the director of the Catholic Information Center. I'm about to recite the Holy Rosary with all of you in front of our mother, our Lady of Guadalupe. And we are going to pray for our country in these difficult times. I'm going to pray also for all of you and for your intentions. But we are together, united here. It's not just me praying. All of us are here today at the CAC. Even if it is boarded up and we continue to offer our requests, our prayer requests for peace in our, to our, for our nation. We are sure that our mother is hearing us, supporting us, and taking care of us. So from the CIC, let's send a lot of grace to all our brothers and sisters in this country and in the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For the increase of the virtues of faith, hope and charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today is uh, Thursday, June 4th, and uh, we are going to contemplate the uh, luminous mysteries. And the first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. As Jesus descended into the Jordan River to receive this baptism from John the Baptist, even if he didn't need it, right? But he did that for our sake. And we really want to ask our mother for our own repentance and contrition for all our sins especially during this time of pandemic, because many of us, or sorry, many of, many of you, <laughs> you have not been able to uh, go to confession. I have been able, thank God, I have, I have access to a priest to hear my sins. But we all need, um, we all need this contrition of heart to receive more light 
and to have our Lord present, the Holy Trinity, as we prepare, prepare ourselves to celebrate this solemnity this coming Sunday, the Holy Trinity, in our purified hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana. We see our mother taking, taking care of others, noticing others' needs, in this case the fact that they didn't have enough wine to celebrate the beauty of marriage, an institution created by God from the beginning. And we also want to make sure that we care and that we help others in their material needs as well, when, whenever that is possible. And many times it's possible. But we first need to have our eyes opened to those needs. Especially as we are recovering from this um, outbreak, from coronavirus. So let's pray to our mother to be present in our lives and to show us the way in this manner. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom. Through the proclamation of the kingdom, through the proclamation of the gospel, many people found peace in their lives, in their hearts. That's the peace of Christ. And our mother brought peace to this continent of ours. There were so many people that through Our Lady of Guadalupe found our Lord, our Savior. So let's ask her to bring, to help us, to, I mean, to intercede for us in bringing peace now in these tumultuous times to our country and to all the countries of the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration of our Lord. Our Lord sent or, or was transformed, right, at the transfiguration, and his disciples saw him in all his splendor. And Jesus did that to give hope, to give strength to the disciples who were going to go through difficult times, through the passion and death of himself, of Jesus, and the persecutions that they were going to undergo. And we want also now to remember, to bring to our hearts those memories of those moments in which we had our own transfigurations, that we saw Jesus with more clarity in his glory. And we want to bring these memories to ourselves so that we can have more hope and more faith in the fact that Jesus is with us, that he has not abandoned us. And let's pray for all our leaders to also be illuminated, for them to be illuminated by God's wisdom, God's light, again in these difficult times, as they make decisions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth and last mystery of the luminous mysteries is the institution of the Eucharist. How important is the nourishment, the spiritual nourishment of the Holy Mass that we receive at Holy Mass? And now let's ask our mother to help those poor people who are researching and trying to find a remedy for coronavirus. We cannot forget about coronavirus. For them to find it, to find this remedy as soon as possible. To heal all those people who are at, you know, who are sick through this virus, and to prevent others from getting it. But we need this remedy to be found. Now for our spiritual life, we have already the Eucharist. And we would love everyone in our country to know this. Everyone. So let's pray also that our neighbors, everyone in our cities, in our country, may someday find out the beauty and the strength that the Eucharist, that the Mass has in our lives as we journey towards eternal life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And now we are going to pray the litany of Loreto. So many great invocations, beautiful invocations, that Christians have used for centuries to address our mother. And this is how we are, we are going to do now, asking her for peace, for peace in our society. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, Pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, Pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 
Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son by his life, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that while meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the needs of the Church and of the nation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. For the Bishop of this diocese, the Archbishop Wilton Gregory, I know you can name your own bishop, and for his intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. For the holy souls in purgatory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And thank you for joining me, for joining us with the recitation of this rosary. Now I'm going to leave you, unfortunately, not with the Blessed Sacrament, because we are still, are, we are st we are still here in difficult or tumultuous moments, and it's not safe for the Blessed Sacrament to be present, unfortunately, during these days here at the CIC, because we are just three blocks away from the White House. But we still can offer this up and pray to heaven, to God, and as we have been doing now through the Rosary, for peace to reign in our hearts, in the hearts of everyone, and in our society. And I will be back at noon for 12 p.m. Eastern Time Mass. And I hope to see you there. And there are two hours in which you can encourage friends, neighbors, acquaintances, and relatives to come to Mass. Because now is the time to pray more, not less. And the Eucharist is the main source of grace that we have. So I hope that you take this to heart and we bring so many people around the country united here at the CAC through the Eucharist. May God bless you. May God bless America. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Turn to me and have mercy on me, on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my loneliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And welcome to the CIC Chapel at the heart of our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. My name is Father Charles Trios. I'm the director of the Catholic Information Center. This is our Mass. I'm here with some staff members. We are still boarded up. Unfortunately, and for the time being, we are monitoring the situation since we are so close to the White House. And, but there is a lot of spiritual power that is going to go your way from this Eucharist. And we want to all participate, I mean, you want to participate um, at this Mass as if you were physically present, because you are present in, in reality, because we are all united through the communion of saints. We know that. And, then, and there is no limitation in God's power to reach you and to reach all our country as we try to recover from, from this pandemic and to bring peace to our nation in this time of trial. I'm going to pray for all your intentions at this Mass and also and especially for those intentions that you have sent to the CAC through the CAC website. And I, can, I encourage you to continue doing that. I have the intentions all here and I want to, I'm going to keep them here on the altar. So let's, today um, is the it's th Thursday of the ninth um, week of Ordinary Time. So we are going to celebrate that Mass. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains, like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus 
together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If, if, if I have died with him, we shall also live with him. If I persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about words. This serves no useful purpose since it harms those who listen. Be eager to present yourself as acceptable to God, a workman who causes no disgrace, imparting the word of truth without deviation. The Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, o Lord. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Teach me your ways, o Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than him. And love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The word of the Lord. I was struck by this comment from St. Paul in his letter to Timothy when he says, but the word of God is not chained. And it has never been, not even in the worst circumstances of the history of salvation. Not even when the church was persecuted or limited by other people, by rulers. 
Not even when our brothers and sisters died, were killed because of their faith and became martyrs. We all, we all know the church has teaches that, that the blood of the martyrs is, and this is um, seed for new Christians. Because God somehow brings good from evil. And I know that in this period of time, there are some people who are concerned about some of our brothers and sisters coming back to the sacraments because they may be losing the um, habit of going to Mass, of going to confession, because we have had a, such a long, a long lockdown. And this is a valid concern. And this is why we need to pray for all the Church. And at the same time, we have to do our part in helping them, our friends, our relatives, our neighbors, to not to lose this connection with the sacraments and with the church. I'm saying that because, you know, let's not be naive. The devil is also working, doing his part. But we have the better part. And we are more powerful than the devil. Don't forget that. God continues to grow in the hearts of people. So we cannot lose hope or you know, despair about these difficulties we are going through at this moment. They are undeniable. And in fact, here at the CIC, we are still boarded up, as I said at the beginning of Mass. There are many buildings who have been damaged around us. I know, for instance, I heard from someone in Chicago, a whole neighborhood or area was also um, trashed by violence. Many buildings. And there is a beautiful chapel in the middle of that area that was spurred, thank be to God. Thanks be to God. Now, we cannot wait for better times to grow in love for God. We cannot. This is the time. This is our time. This is the time that God has allowed us to live in. And when Jesus is asked by this scribe, which is the first of all commandments? Little he knew who he was, whom he was asking. To whom he was asking. God himself was answering him. The creator of the universe. The creator of our laws. Love itself was answering this scribe. And what is at least um, striking to me is what Jesus tells the scribe when he sees that he has the same, that he has the right knowledge about revelation, about he himself has revealed throughout history, had revealed throughout history, the history of Israel. And this is, Jesus tells, answers the scribe, you are not far from the kingdom of God. He was expecting Jesus telling him, this is great, you answer so correctly, you are now part of the kingdom of God. You are in. You are not far. Why? I mean, I don't, I don't have an answer, but I can guess. Maybe because he had the knowledge, he had the understanding, 
but he was not putting it into practice. Not perfectly, at least. He had, you know, big gaps. In the letter of St. James, he says, so also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Is dead. And this is something that we also want to examine ourselves about today. Because we know the catechism, we know the re revelation, we know what is right and what is wrong. I mean, we can always grow in that and improve and get more knowledge. But how is our um, behavior? Is our behavior in line with our faith, with Jesus' teachings, with Jesus' commandments? We know the theory that we have to, as Jesus says, that the first thing is to love God and then love our neighbor. Those are the big two commandments. St. James also says in his letter, Indeed, someone may say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. I think this is something that has always um, struck me. He says, you believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe that and tremble. In other words, it's not enough to know, which is, but that is very important, right? Because if we don't know, we can not follow Jesus and God. But it's not enough. Even the demons know and they tremble. We want during this time of trial to grow in love for God, in love for our neighbor. Not losing hope, knowing that the word of God grows in the souls of everyone but it has to grow also in our souls, in our hearts. And this is the time. Cannot wait for better times. And through that, our society will improve, will change for the better. I'm completely convinced. I mean, God is convinced about that. Because we will transmit the peace of Christ to others. Through our action, through our love for others, for God. This is a great um, desire that we want to address or to share with Jesus today as we celebrate this Mass. I'm dressed, or sorry, I'm dressed, I invested, <laughs> this investment, right, um, in, uh, with a green color because we are in ordinary time. But we are in ordinary time with extraordinary graces because God gives grace according to the circumstances as well and the difficulties that we have to overcome. So let's not forget this. For us to be calm, for us to be joyful, for us to help others, for us to try to love God with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our strength, our us and our neighbor as ourselves, as Jesus teaches us today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption, let us therefore ask Almighty God that the whole world 
may be watered from, this, from these springs of all blessing and life. For peace among nations, that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For, for the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, and for all those who are sick right now from coronavirus or from any other diseases, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves gathered here, and we are all gathered here either present, physically present, or through the internet, through this live stream mass. For ourselves gathered here, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way that we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for all the intentions that you have been sending you have been sending in to the CAC through the CAC website and for all the intentions that you may have now in your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. May your mercy we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has, been, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you, first of all, Holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clitus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonos, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands 
and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to the altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the song of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, Fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. It is of the Father, Lord of all, Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Our dispositions when we receive the blessed, when we receive communion, when we receive the blessed sacrament, matter in terms of how much grace we get from it. It's not because of limitations in God, in Jesus, is because of our own limitations. And when we are in church, at that Mass, physically present, and we are in line, waiting for our turn to receive communion, sometimes we get distracted. Now, we are now in a kind of a longer line until we can receive communion physically. So it's not just a matter of minutes, but maybe a matter of days or, a mo or months, who knows. But we don't want to lose sight of what are we preparing for. We are getting our dispositions, you know, not just in line, but in the best possible, um, our dispositions, we, we want to grow in fervor and in love of God and of our neighbor as we wait for that moment. This is why we are going to tell Jesus through this spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility and devotion with which our Most Holy Mother received you with the spirit and fervor of the saints.
Let us pray. Govern by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that profess in you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And before we finish this Mass, I want to let you know that tomorrow, Father Marty Miller, uh, an assistant chaplain here at the CIC, will be leading the Rosary at 9.30 a.m. and then serving the Mass at 12 p.m. Eastern Time here at the CIC. And then this is an announcement for this weekend. So we are moving our Mass just for Saturday and Sunday from noon, 12 p.m. Eastern Time to 9.30 um, a.m. because of uh, we are anticipating some um, restrictions in the access of the CIC or to the CIC, I would say, this weekend because of this all, all this turmoil. So, um, so you can be with us in person, I mean in person, <laughs> live streamed, but live at 9.30 or um, if it's too, too early for you, you can all, always um, see the Mass or participate at the Mass at the recording that you will find on the YouTube channel or on the CIC website. So don't worry about that. And continue praying for us, for the CIC, so that we can reopen our doors, our windows that are boarded up right now as soon as possible. And I'm so honored, I have to tell you, to be able to celebrate these masses here at the heart of our nation's capital, in the middle of this you know, a war zone for all of us, for our nation, for our, for our country. There is so much grace that comes from this altar during these days through these Masses. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.